Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we have an update on the strike in Hollywood. It sounds like if things don't get resolved within the next week or so, the strike will not end until next year. So what, they're taking off for, for the holidays? Apparently, they're like, there's no point. They're like, there's no point in uh, resolving it because we've already lost the fall television season. Well, this what, this reminds me of like, you know, Congress and stuff like that when they don't, when they're like working on something that's going to affect a lot of people, like unemployment extensions or things like that. And then they wait until right before the holidays. And then they say, oh, we're taking two months off of the holidays. And people are like waiting to see if they're going to be, you know, be okay. And they don't know because well, we're taking two months off. But this yeah. is like, you're taking... A two like a, a couple months off of the holidays in Hollywood, and people won't even know are going to lose their houses. Yeah, let alone buy their kids Christmas or whatever. Yeah, because, I can't. Because I guess on the studio side, they're like, there's no point in paying people to act if we don't have shows for the fall. So we'll just come back to it in uh, January. And then my next thing is, well, we'll get to it in a minute. Before we get to it any further, before we get to it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Uh, this is coming from The Wrap. This is Sharon Waxman, and uh, I think she is in charge of The Wrap, and she sent this out this morning, basically said, hey, guys, uh, if this doesn't get resolved within the next week or two, the strikes are going to go on until January. Well, this is what, this is, because, like, when before they start talking again, they're trying to get back to the table. Amptip said, well, they had, they're coming back to the table with even more. So it should have been, like, already signed by now. But there were, like, day two, heading into day three or whatever of negotiations, which says to me, Fran and co. are still demanding more shit. Fran co. Yeah, it's, it's not going very well. And I think a lot of uh, actors in Hollywood expected it to be resolved already. And that's why, you know, George Clooney and friends, I think, were frantically trying to get things started because mm -hmm. they knew what would happen. And, you know, I was under the impression that the studios actually wanted this to last until the end of the year because they basically got to save almost a year's worth of pay. Mm -hmm. Well, at least six months. Six months, you know, but then you look at the writer's strike too. And that was what, April, May, whenever that started. So they had a chance to basically pocket all this money because, you know, consumers don't know that nothing's really in the pipeline and they'll just watch reruns or they'll bring stuff in from Korea or Japan or whatever, you know, and um, they almost had a deal last week. And then of course, you know, uh, Drescher and Duncan Crabtree, Ireland, who looks like that guy in the meme. That's the, the shock face in the audience kind of, have oh, you seen no. that guy where he no. opened his mouth real wide? He looks like that guy. Um, but uh they kind of threw a wrench into it with this last minute ask where they apparently wanted a dollar or 57 cents, depending on who you ask. Um, every streamer or every subscriber to every streaming service would have to pay this. And that money would go directly to the union to dole out as they see fit. Without telling people where they were planning on spending it. Right. So, yeah, before they were going back to negotiations, they were about their Fran was out there begging them to come back to negotiations. And they come back to negotiations and now is a chance to get it settled. And then they were on day three. I mean, shouldn't it have been a settle by now? It, it should have been. They thought it was going to be pretty much, you know, a so slam dunk. They were going to get it done. And sounds like, uh, you know, Crabtree Ireland and Drescher went in there and started their shit again is what it sounds like to me. I mean, I could be mistaken, yeah. but they had the studio saying they're coming back with even more. Yeah. And then, but they were not going to give in on that 59 cent to a dollar, whatever. Right. And, and it sounds like they're going to keep pushing for this shit. So y'all are not getting back to work. And there's a bunch of people that are below the line that are, are really getting screwed over, but it's okay. Cause they're going to, they're going to hang on to that extra money for the union. That doesn't even really necessarily go to you guys. Yeah. So this is uh, again, coming from the wrap, uh, witching our studios to devote another week to resolve SAG strike or give up until January. That means Hollywood might be closed until January. If that is the case, the fall TV season is lost and new it's movies. It's already won't... lost. I mean, oh, I don't yeah, think there's anything fine. salvaging at this point. It's already October. If that's the case, fall TV season is lost and new movies won't come out until next summer. Well, they're already pushing. Insider. Didn't they already push the, the next, um, Oh, the one movie with Tom Cruise, they pushed it back until 2025. I don't know. Everything's being pushed back until Mission 2024, they Mission 2025. Yeah, they keep, they're going to be pushing stuff back further. They say, according to an individual with knowledge of their thinking, the studios believe that if they can't reach a deal in the next week with SAG-AFTRA, which has been on strike since July 14th, there will be no new production to start before 
2024. If that's the case, the studios further believe the fall television season is lost. It's already lost. Yep, and new movies won't be able to come out until next summer. In this scenario, early November would be the drop dead date to salvage any ability to put television or movies into production. Once the calendar hits Thanksgiving, it's unlikely any project would begin production, pushing off everything to the new year, this individual said, and killing the studio's incentive to push for a deal. So, and, and killing off the studio's incentive to push for a deal. So this, this insider, this is the insider. The insider believes that if that is the case, if they do not wrap this thing up in the next week or two, that the studios have no incentive to push for a deal before the end of the year, because what's the point? It's not going to make a difference on their, you know, in their schedules anyway. It's like, well, and we'll just think about it. You think about what you've done. It's going to be a really Merry Christmas for all of you. Happy Hanukkah. It's going to be fantastic because uh, everybody's unemployed. But this is just an insider saying that. This is an insider saying it. But the fact that the head of the rap is coming out and saying that this is what they think is going to happen. And I've heard this from multiple people. Uh, they think that the studios planned it. They planned to shut everything down until the end of the year. And they did it because they wanted to save money, not because, you know, and it might even be a case of like, okay, once, you know, January comes around, like, okay, fine, you're ready to talk again, whatever. And they might actually give them more, but, but, uh, the studios are desperately trying to save money right now. And they're trying to, you know, walk back a bunch of stupid decisions. They greenlit a bunch of garbage and they're trying to walk it all back. So yeah, they could just be like, oh yeah, we don't like that very much. Okay. We'll see you next year. You know, you think about it. Well, they better not do that because that's absolute shit, especially people that are being caught up in this and didn't have anything to do with it. Yeah, that that's the the biggest problem because I studios mean, need to not do that. You know, yeah. The negotiations restarted on Tuesday after the CEOs walked away two weeks ago over a new demand for this one dollar per subscription fee from streaming yeah, it, divisions. Oh no, it's fifty nine cents. Which is it? I. After taxes? I mean, I don't know. On top of the raises and other benefits that had been negotiated between the two sides. So yeah, they walked into this thinking they had a deal. And then they're like, oh, by the way, by the way, we also want an extra buck from every so one of your subscribers. I don't, th I mean, and, uh, unless if they would just agree not to, 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 to push that stupid dollar, then this whole thing could be wrapped up. But it sounds like they're still pushing for that, which is what's keeping it held up. Of course, we don't know because we're not in the negotiations, but that's the way it sounds. Well, I said, yeah, the CEOs who are negotiating on behalf of the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers presented their counter offer to the Guild on Tuesday, and apparently it uh, it flopped. And then they Basically, were it was, we're not giving you that. Pretty much, yeah. That's so what I think happened. They're like, yeah, it's not happening. Fran and Duncan here are going to tie up everything. Mm -hmm. She could do this all year. She said she she would, yeah, if it's going to take a year to get what she wants. Uh, hey, you guys voted her in. I'm just saying all these celebrities now are like, what the hell is does Fran she, Does she ask doing? the doll what the doll thinks? Because oh, if you didn't God. catch the other day that she actually apparently is taking a doll, a doll. In, in with her to these, some, that some 11 year old fan gave her into these negotiations and then quoting Buddhist, you know, Buddhist quotes and inspirational quotes. And that's her, her negotiation strategy. And I'm like, does she ask the doll, like what the doll thinks before she decides, you know, it's like Annabelle. Oh yeah. Not related, but we were, <laughs> we were out, we were out going somewhere and we just passed this. Some country road. And, and it's, uh, there's this doll literally tied to this post and it says for sale for sale out in the middle, just outside, just hanging there in the middle of nowhere for sale guys uh, tied to a post. The, the, the doll is completely for sale. fine. It just happens to be tied outside for no reason, but it's for sale anyway. Um, yeah. So they, they met on Tuesday. They decided to not meet again on Wednesday, which uh, I guess shocked Shocked some people. And yeah, now but they were going to meet on Wednesday. Yeah, they pushed it back till today. Oh, okay. I guess they're meeting later today. Okay, I thought they met on Wednesday too. Yeah, they said an insider familiar with the studio side of the talk said there was some surprise among the AMP tip ranks when SAG-AFTRA uh, requested the delay, but they're taking it as a hopeful sign there will be progress. Okay, so maybe they're taking the delay to, to run it by some lawyers and people or something. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Maybe. So they said, yeah, this the, the agreement is the levy on the streaming services. That's what the whole holdup is. The whole yeah. holdup is this levy that they're demanding because they want extra money for the union itself. Yep. Now, okay, so this is where we have the discrepancy. SAG After says it's only 57 cents. For 57 cents, you can yeah, buy an actor a from? cup of coffee. That's Amp Tip said it's going to be a dollar. Oh, okay. A dollar so subscription fee. 
Uh, they said it was untenable. It was an untenable economic burden. Uh, AmpTip is pushing for a viewership bonus model similar to the one agreed to with WGA and had believed when the talks first resumed, it would have been sufficient to reach a deal with the Actors Guild, basically performance-based. Well, they're the actors. They should get a better deal than the writers. I mean, I'm sure that's what they think. Uh, yeah, that's what they think. But sag after believes that the revenue-sharing plan is a better model to ensure increased pay for, for performers throughout the union's membership for the work they do on streaming films and TV they shows. They think it's a better, it's a better, a better increase. It's a better incentive that shows actually are good and they perform. Yeah. They don't want to pay because if they're if they're ever just paying a dollar per subscriber, they can shit out whatever and they all get money. But you have to actually have th th this revenue base would be like people that are in shows that perform or movies that perform get paid is what, you know. Yeah, but that's. Which I think is, I think is better. I think it's more that's fair. how it should be. I it hate is. To, I hate you already to, got base pay. <laughs> you already got your base pay. That's the thing. It's not like you're, you know what I'm saying? Like you already got your agreed to base pay. You're getting a raise on that. And I think there should just like every other job, there should be a performance bonus. Because if you were producing this stuff yourself you know, your performance would basically be like how many people are watching my videos or how many people are buying my comics or my games or A whatever. lot of jobs are by how much you do. Like, you know, if you're sales, you, buy, you get paid based on how much you sell. Yes. If you're like, you know, you're t you know, some of this gig economy stuff, you get paid based on how many, you know, deliveries you make or people pick up or whatever else. So, but basically what these, these companies should do then to be the same thing is, okay, when you, everybody that uses the Lyft or Uber app or, you know, one of the food delivery service apps should have to pay an extra dollar a customer so that everybody gets the same, even if they aren't working or doing very well, or everybody who works at Verizon selling phones or whatever, one of those places selling something that's sales-based, you know, you better, every, everybody has to pay more on their bill so that everybody gets the same amount of money um, as, a, as a bonus, you yeah. know, even though they didn't maybe sell a damn thing. You're, you're, that's basically what they're, what they're asking yeah, for. Yeah, it's like, okay, so yeah, the guy who's our top salesman makes as much money as the guy who just started who's, who hasn't sold a damn car. Or who's month. been there for 10 years and doesn't do jack right, shit, right. you know? Coffee's for closers. <laughs> you know, that's... I don't know. I just think I just think at this point it's just money going to the union and they need yeah. to get they need to get people back to work and they're going to have to they're going to have to make some concessions. I'm sorry, but they're yeah. going to have to cuz it does sound like they're already getting a shit ton. Yeah. And I mean, you already won in that regard, so take the win. And just, you know, yeah. you're going to renegotiate a couple years anyway. So just take the win and, and wait till next time. Yeah, it's every three years. So just, you know, rethink your plan a little bit. But I think in the meantime, I think the studios are going to look at this and be like, okay, what can we do in the next three years to ensure this doesn't well, happen gonna, again? They're going to cut half the shows out, what they're going to do. They're, they're, they're cut already half doing the shows. It. They're going to look at non-union production companies. They're going to do what they have to do to make sure that mm -hmm. this does not happen again. So... Anyway, there we go. That's where it is. If they don't get it put to bed, it could be until next year, according I, to this insight. I don't think they're going to go that far, personally. I don't know if they can. I don't know if either side I, can. I, I, I don't think it's going to get that far. We'll see, but I don't think it's going to get that far. How how bad? How bad do you want to I think they'll Christmas? wrap it up this week. <laughs> I think I only think if it's not this week, next week. I think it'll be wrapped up the next week or two. All right. So let's wrap this up. Yes. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.